Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR and my YouTube channel. I haven't used the mouse very much with the 7610 and when I got the radio I hooked up a monitor, uh, hooked up a mouse and tried it out and I really didn't like it. And the reason I didn't like it was I saw videos on YouTube and they would click on a, a signal and when they click on it, they would have to reach over and hit the tuning dial to tune it in. And I didn't like that. See, uh, there, there's a signal there. I'm going to click on it. And you never get on frequency, or hardly ever. So everybody would reach up and tune him in. Well, I moved my radio into uh, my new ham shack and I started playing around with the mouse a little bit more. And I realized that uh, if you see a signal, I'm going to turn the volume up. You see a signal you want to click on using the left mouse button. I'm using the left mouse button. I got a left and right. By the way, the, the scroll wheel doesn't work. Uh, if I see one that I want to hear, I, I click and hold the left mouse button and then I drag the mouse to tune him in and then let go of the left mouse button. And I haven't seen that anywhere. I, I couldn't find it in the manual. So if I see a, a signal I want to hear, I can click on it, my left mouse button, hold it down, and then drag it and tune him in. You either drag to the left or the right to tune him in and let go of the left mouse button. What I did see in the manual was using the right mouse button. And if I see a signal that I, I, I want to listen to, I right click and hold it down and I can drag it to tune it in. I can listen for a second. And then when I let go of the right mouse button, it takes me back to the frequency I was on. So if I see somebody down here, I think I might want to contact, I right click on it, hold it down, drag it, tune them in. And then let go and I go back to the frequency I was on. Because a lot of the time I'll see a, a signal down here and I'll right click on it and then the guy disappears so I can go back quickly to the frequency I was, I was on by just letting go of the mouse button. Okay, I almost forgot using the right mouse button I'm going to tune in on that station there. Using the right mouse button, what happens if you right click and you want to stay on that frequency? I'm going to right click, hold it down, tune him in. What happens if you want to stay on the frequency? If I let go of the right mouse button, it's going to take me back to the other frequency. If I want to stay on it while I'm holding down the right, right mouse button, I left click. And when I do that, I can let go of my mouse buttons and stay on that frequency. Here's one. I'm going to right click if I want to stay there while holding down the right mouse button I left click and it stays there so those are two neat neat features of the mouse that I haven't seen documented out there I'm sure other guys have figured it out but I was unaware of it up until now I think I'm gonna hook up my monitor and try that out again see how it works if you haven't already, click the subscribe button below 
and if you want click on the notification icon that way you'll be notified when I put out a new video and also if you haven't already please visit www.k0pir.us I've got lots of articles on the ICOM 7610 and the ICOM 7300 so that'll about do it. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also, tell your friends. 73 and good DX.